Good to see you as always, Josh. Uh, tell me, you know, we see this guy fleeing uh, in, in such an event, I mean, such an ordeal with so many members of law enforcement involved in the eventual capture of Juan David Ortiz. But how does that fit in with what his attorney said yesterday to the jury about him making a false confession to these killings? Sure. So the prosecution is obviously using this to to their advantage to show uh, his consciousness of guilt, right? That he's no no innocent person takes off like this and tries to escape if they're not guilty of a crime. And they, they're, go, of course, going to highlight that, uh, show that to the jury. It's exciting stuff for the jury to watch. But you'll notice that the defense in their cross-examination of these officers are making the biggest deal over the smallest details. We saw a lot of cross-examination about whether or not a lighter was recovered or keys were recovered. Do these amount to anything? Not in the grand scheme of things, but the defense has to make the villain in this case the police, right? Because as you pointed out, their, their theory here is a coerced confession. So somehow they've got to make it sound like the police um, had him pegged from the very beginning and therefore coerced him into this confession. It's a difficult argument to make, but that's why you're going to see them nitpick every, everything that the police do.